be using my my dishwasher screen sifter here i'm filling this up i see a flake right there but i'm scraping fired rock off the bottom of the river and i'm looking for artifacts so if you like ancient native american artifacts this is for you see what i find <laughs> I've been finding a good many points this week with my sifter. I've been having luck with it every time I'm out. And the reason why is because we got a high water and I followed the flint trail and that leads to artifacts and I knew where the stuff that came out of that bank would be laying down this shore. Um, where it would be concentrated and where it would have settled. And that's where I dug. And that's why I found the stuff. And that's something that you'll have to figure out from the from the slant of the base clay where you're looking. That's on you, I can't teach you that. You've gotta use your shovel as a probe to feel, right there's the base clay, see the fired rock laying on it? You're feeling for that fired rock with your shovel and a good layer that was susceptible material. And uh, that's how I found the points. I thought that was a flake back here. But I'm going down here and do some sifting. Then I'm going to another place later. It's early in the morning. I just came to this place to get woke up, basically. Later. Well, this is like a pitted stone, but it's hard stone. This isn't sand stone. You see, it's pitted, started to be packed there. And right in the middle there. These, and these ones just have a very slight hole in them. Always the hard stone pieces. Right here, see that gray color change there that's river mud that washed in during this flood on top of it's a sand layer that slid down see it over here with a little bit of gravel and rock and flint in it it's fresh stuff that's washed out of the bank and i'm scooping it off the base layer base clays down another foot with a layer on top of it this is like a false layer because of the flood see what i'm doing i could get a point this way up and man this stinks i got a broken point i'll show you here it's right there in the screen well it kind of looks like a fish spear but you know i'd say it's a sharpened down amos well it might be a fish spear see how it's got it's made there's no work on the base it's just made off a flake kind of a spall it's a little sod notch point. That would have been nice impact. Too bad. That would have been a day maker. You see it's kind of a two-toned river cobble. See the break there. Probably an impact. It looks like an addle-addle dark to me. Real heavily ground notches. It looks fish spear like. Could be. Um, there you see the base. An odd base. Just a flat base. The natural. No chipping to it. And that's odd if it was an Amos. Looks fish spear -y. What do you think? Get to another spot. By this place now, I just found that broken point. Um, not wasn't seeing a bunch of flint, so I'm gonna go home eat. Now I gotta go take money out of the bank, and then I'm gonna go to a different spot that's better. Get back. Yeah, check out them toilets. I'm just leaving them here for my mom. It's not Mother's Day yet, but I got her other stuff for Mother's Day. They had these Fiskers trimmers on sale too. I got me a pair for the dump and her a pair for the yard, but she'll come out and be happy. These are beautiful flowers, aren't they? Look, Walmart, 10 bucks, that's a good deal. Well, I got her a big easy attic lily too. That's awesome, that's Mother's Day. Later. Well, I'm heading down in here to look for some artifacts. Get back if I find anything. Well, see that all up through there? Didn't see nothing laying on it. Crumbled fire rock coming down, all the stuff. I can see the fire rock laying back in there, but look at this out of the screen. This is the back off an ax or something. It's all polished, um, but it's broke, and it's that blue stain and look in the same screen. That's a piece out of a point right there. It's broke on multiple faces. That would have been nice. It looks maybe like a pentagon. So we'll see what I can get right here. I'm going to be lift, sifting right along this wall. There's dropped a little, water's dropped a little bit since I've been here. It was up because it rained last night, but they let some through the locks. 
and look at the fire rock laying in amongst these logs. This is what you want to see. I'm going to get my bag and I'm going to get sift over here where I find that broken like shoulder axe and that broken arrowhead. Here's another nice sliver of facet and hematite. I'll show it to you. Now here's this little piece of facet and hematite. See that facet all the way down that edge. There's one there, but it's split right down the middle. It's popped apart. It would have been a facet on every face, even this broken piece. But I find another real cool one. Find a lot of this stuff. Show oh, there's another pit in another pitted stain. Nothing on that side, but look at that one. There's another one. See, there's engraved lines off of it too, Sam. Don't see anything else on it probably split that's cool I have done it again when you think about them little points I've been looking here a long time around them little points are heat treated and front ridge table rocks and them points sure look bow and era and table rocks you know archaic period there should be some extensive work done on this site because of these tiny bird points I'll put in a video up at the left found this right beside this i'm in the same and there's not much else here a little bird point it's definitely shot from a bow right by this let me get this up here you see it in the screen it looks like red jasper and it looks like a bottleneck hold on well i've been here at least an hour and a half and this is my first point got a whole bunch of flakes of flint little tiny finishing flakes and stuff haven't been seeing a whole lot, but it's that kind of a site. I'm picking at the base clay. Sometimes it'll take me 10, 15 minutes to fill a screen completely up. This was worth it. You see it there? Oh, that's nice. The base will be real ground. Beautiful material as all, are all the points. But is that a bottleneck or is it just a big one of those bird points? It sure looks... This isn't as classic. Oh, just, I mean, polished like a big sandy, and the notches will be too. Yep. That's an R kick point, too. Right around them bird points. That's nice. Red, deep red jasper. That's a nice one. All right. I'm happy. Well, that's a nice little deep red jasper arrowhead. And real ground base you can probably see the flattening polish to it there and the notches are real polished looks table rocky and archaic and i found that bird point in the last video right by this not bad huh later see i'm right down in there see these beds of fired rock laying in here they have pulled right out of this these cuts you see and all the stuff's laying right out here in shallow water settled on the base clay that's how i found that point Woo! Well, here's another used up piece of hematite there's a nice facet right there look at that this is something ain't it seeing this i'll show you the facet up please that's nuts look at that it, it just used up So you can tell by the weight, it feels way heavier than a rock should be of this size. It's hematite. See the facet right there? All the way down that, you can see they've held that and rubbed it right there. They could have even been putting, you get this rubbed down on a piece of sandstone, that would leave a line on something. That's cool, huh? That's a cool one. Somebody was holding it just like that thousands of years ago. Well, that's it for me my back's starting to hurt another successful trip i like that little hematite piece i just found i just found that and decided to go i'm hearing cracks of thunder it's looking really rough and it's gonna just come up a dandy at space too i heard it on the radio we'll get check on squirrel man later folks well right there's the red jasper point you see it's the same color as hematite almost the jasper um, but that hematite piece here is an addle, addle handle weight. And this is some stuff. I needed another point for this, and this just completed. Most of the stuff I found last summer, but we're putting that in there. It looks nice. Another frame of stuff I found 
that I won't get rid of that I'll just put up and we'll get it out and look at it again in the future. Later folks. Well here's some more recent stuff. Check out that beauty and the one whoa. Yeah that drill's nice too. I've been on a roll. Thought I'd show you. And here's some more recent things like I've been finding on the Ohio River. Look at the notch or the shoulders on that point. It's like an Adena. Later. And why not? Here's some more. Just recent finds. Lots of nice Amos points in here. Some real nice triangles in this frame. There's a Paleo point right there. Pretty nice, huh? Been on a roll. Later. The squeaker had to come right out. What are you doing, squeaker? Well, another success. It's gonna, it started sprinkling on me the way down the highway. It's gonna come up a dandy here at any time. But look at this handsome little boy. What are you doing, buddy? He's gonna come out of here and look around for a while. I'm wet, so it ain't gonna be too long. Like 10 minutes is all we're doing, squirrel man. So you better enjoy. I'll see you on the next one, folks. Uh, the water was even up up there today on that place. Um, I thought it was going to go down. It went up from the rain. So when it goes down, I think I'll find two, three, four points up there. That's a good spot. Look here. Look here, folks. I'll see you. Squirrel Man's going to run wild out here. Look at him go. He loves it. See ya.